it's time for the 1v1 Elite Showdown. Hello, and we are certainly live for real this time with DevM in the north in this much anticipated series. He is the Soviets. He's locked in again armored assault tactics. Who do we find in the south? My co caster, Tightrope. It is Jove, and we're going to see OKW again. Very interesting. He has uh, Overwatch, Fortifications, and Scavenge. So no, com so man no command pass will be vetoed then. Oh, I can uh, actually alert us to that. Give me a moment. You'll see on my screen. This is the match chat. Jove goes OKW Devon Soviets. We know that bit. Um, Jove has gotten rid of urban defense and um, the IS the KV8 doctrine. So that's uh, IS2. That's shock. Tactics, I believe, something like that. Truck rifle primary. That's it. And uh, DevM has banned Grand Defensive Doctrine and a few others. That's what we got from that. Kura, he relayed as much as he could. And uh, there we go. So that's the, the obviously, the vetoing process involved um, in this Commander Veto based tournament. So uh, DevM had two vetoes to utilize, Jove had three. Penal troops coming out for Devon. Yeah, standard stuff. Just a regular tier one build from DVM so far. Not going to see conscripts like we did in the last match. This really doesn't feel like much has changed between the huge patches we've had and also now introducing uh, commander vetoes. In this game, at least, it seems pretty standard fare. Yeah, well, spec ops is a. No spec ops is a, of course, massive low to OKW and you have to remember what I was talking about just before on stream now the moving accuracy of units inside the M3 is going to be slightly worse so putting that penal in the down cast straight away going to be slightly less effective as a tactic slightly less but I'm sure it'll still be the go-to and here we go we've got the cutoff being pushed but um, Jove is all about this northern fuel point and he's put sandbags and uh, oh, sorry, on the standard territory point, which is the cutoff, and the fuel point. So he's going to defend it with for his very life. Yeah, he's got a mine down next to that fuel point, actually. Anticipating the M3 hidden in that direction. Very good to see. Where is that mine exactly? Not quite, can't quite see it myself. It's next to the fuel where the stone pony is. Uh... Oh my god, I see. Yeah, sorry. I was, I was talking about the eastern one, so he's going for both with yeah, a yeah, yeah. heavy assault. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of risky splitting your troops like this. It does allow the M3 to pick them off without their concentrated barrage of small arms fire. I may have just seen that A pointed his camera in the wrong direction to gunfire. That's because I had my headset the wrong way around, and my left and right channels were completely mixed. Here we go, the M3 with the flamer gunning down Foch Grenadiers. And uh, Devon with a very aggressive start, but Jove has gone for an early Rakan Verfer, and that is the correct... Uh, the correct choice, I guess. Yeah, a lot of players just try and grin and bear it with the... Go for the full function you did, but he's going for the Rakin to try counter it. Does mean you kind of have a timer on yourself, because if you don't knock it out in the next, like, two or three minutes, you start to get overwhelmed on the battlefield, you know, you want fighting squad down and those penals can overrun you. So, um, Devon's putting this mine down. He's had to, uh, forsake it for now, because the folks already have saw it coming and he's completely abandoned the idea but that means we've got not only cut off but if the fuel taken as well so good early game fuel control by dev m he is getting off to a strong start and he, yeah he never even bothered putting the penal in the m3 he just went straight for the flamer in it just talking about the players for a moment we know jove had that conscription in the russian military and uh Oh, nice mine there! M3 gets taken out, but what a roll from DevM. Didn't lose a single squad member of the combat engineers. Yeah, that was so lucky. But what, what foresight from Jove, like, plants the mine and exactly runs over it. Really well played by him. Yeah. It's almost as though, like, the, the half-track vanished beneath them, and all of a sudden, hang on, comrade, we're standing on our feet. You know, it's, it's completely unexpected. 
Well, it looked like it briefly went into an abandoned critical, so maybe that had something to do fair with it. Fair enough, fair enough. Recantive have been put to good use to recapturing the fuel. And I just, I honestly, Tyrope, I've got such a, a feeling of anticipation for this game. Two excellent players that I've rarely ever met in um, competitive Company of Heroes. So uh, it's, it's really exciting stuff, and it could go either way. Well, here comes the truck from Jove. Is it going to be mechanized or battle group? Just teasing us at the moment. Didn't even crush the uh, the fence. He's on the fence, and uh, he has choice of both. <laughs> Reversing into position. We do have uh, med kits up in base, so it indicates maybe mechanized to me. And indeed, it does. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Only diff. It's a little bit riskier when you don't have the command panther to lean back on if this goes. Pear shape, but can still be very effective against these penals. So, as, as I was saying about Jove as a player, he's had that year out and he never really got back to the same heights on his return to the scene. Dev M is on a bit of a, a poor run of form in auto match. He's had a few major losses when he's trying to stream snipe people like Von Ivan, Prodigally, etc. And also, he lost the last tournament final he was in against Von Aston. He did win the two preceding tournaments, but by his standards, Oh, nice. Satchel there. First going to need to see it late and die because of it. Yeah, <laughs> nice satchel right onto the door. I feel like sometimes they don't trigger the grenade warnings. Maybe Jove wasn't watching that engagement. Gets his rewards. Oh, God. That was uh, horrendous for Jove. It was only a first grenade. They took 250 man power, of course. Not the end of the world. But certainly didn't want that to happen. Oh, he's trying to cap with this Rakitten, but gets spotted by the penals. I I wonder if the old Co-1 bug still exists, Tightrope, that if you're in cloak and you retreat, it's slower to get back to base. Mm, Certainly it looks a little... Yeah. it could do, because a lot of legacy kind of things are still part of the game. Satchel on retreat, and he pushes him into the scope of it! Couldn't quite get it, though. Did you see that body block from Dev M, Tightrope? Yeah, that was a nice move. Nice attempt. Just needed the set a little bit to the left. Combat engineer could be going down. This could be Joe's way back into the game. He's lining these shots up. If this survives, it does not. It would have been very bad luck. Yep. It doesn't. I guess DVM didn't sacrifice enough goats today. <laughs> Seemingly not. He's had a, a decent amount of luck. Well, not, I'm not going to say luck. He's just played very well so far. Um, with the satchel on the doorway, of course. And um, we do have the Panzer II Lukes on the way from Jove. So I'm sure one of these penal battalions is going to momentarily, well, forever become a PTRS anti-tank uh, penal. And DVM's got the drop on that. You know, he does have the radio intercept, so he knows what's coming. Now he's got the choice. Does he back tech to tier 2? Oh no, he doesn't. He's already got Tank Ovi Battalion Command out. He's already at 62 fuel, so great fuel control by yeah. DevM in this game. I was I was caught off guard by that. <laughs> yeah, he's 10 fuel away from, or 5 fuel now from the T70. It's going to come in at a really nice cut time and shut down the looks. I suppose at no point until now has he actually been cut off from fuel, and this is the very first time now. You really see the impact of that Rakesson, you know, it's kind of just been luggage this whole match. He's trying to send out to the battlefield, trying to get some value out of it as a capping unit, but not having much luck. Not enough anyway. Panzer II marauding onto the battlefield, forcing away the penal battalion. T70 is going to be answered from Dev M, and you know, what else would you expect? He's not going to get the SU-76. He's an aggressive player. His best form of defense is offense. PTR is coming up on this uh, six-man squad that's running to the south now. That's the thing with the looks, you know, you can't get too close to the penalties you want to. You want to get right up in their grill to maximize your damage, but at any second they could pop that PTRS upgrade, sticky sat to you, and that'll be good night. Jove's hours playing played in this game I mean he he is an elite level warrior, and I hate to keep using that word elite, it will become a very annoying cliche. But there is that tier of players where they just have a sixth sense. They've got that many hours at a top level. And here you go, the PTRSs have popped and the T-70s coming in, Tyro. Yeah, he 
Backed it away in a really nice timing. Didn't take much damage from PTRS. Good reaction times. Excellent play. Elsewhere in the south, it looks like two Foch Grenadiers behind the fence are keeping a low combat engineer from getting involved. But here comes the T-70 to uh, force them out of the picture. Yep, needs to get that Rakitin into a more relevant position here. Interesting to see he's going for another machine gun right now. Might delay his Puma if that's what he's hoping to go for next. We're we'll, gonna have the manpower for it. We all know where DevM will be going in the late game, but it's, uh, I suppose it's question is for Jove what he goes for himself. Is Scavenge available with the Osfins? Fortifications, maybe? That would be crazy, I know, but it'd be interesting to see. And Overwatch, if he wants to get some of that sector assault, but in, in that case, he'd have to get, as we saw in game two of Price versus Isildur, he'd have to get his own Panther from the Schwer Panzer headquarters. No, I think Jove is also quite partial to fortifications. Having those East Mines all around the map is uh, really effective at shutting down your opponent's mobility. So exciting that we're seeing strategies like this and that the players are forced to go a little bit off meta. Devem's having to back tech to support weapon Companier. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding that right in the back of his base as well. Oh! I guess he's worried about, you know, Puma hitting the field and his P70 just getting overwhelmed, but it doesn't look like that's on Joe's radar right now. This T-70 certainly also is a big blip on the radar, forcing away the Foch Grenadiers, keeping one fuel in DevM's hands, and the North fuel was about to go in his hands, but the MG-34 was expertly positioned by Jove. Yeah, double MGs are making life hard for these penal troops. Oh yeah, he's, he's still going for the Zis. The thing with the Zis though, you know, you get it to try counter your opponent's light vehicles, but then you can also use the barrage on it to force away the machine guns and infantry. So multi-purpose. Yes, it has. It's not like, it's not like the Rakitin where he's just like sitting around doing nothing, maybe try to send out to Cap. Yeah, I guess, but I love the I love the old uh, Jove Nagano double Rakitin in cloak going all the way into your territory set to, to take out your tanks. It's always been a cool... Uh, point. T70 looking for the kill on the CMG up here. Yeah. Where's that Rakitin? Where are the, these Rakitins? He's got two of them, but they're nowhere near. I think he just attack grounded through the uh, bush as well to try and take out the MG on retreat. And um, if you think I'm making that up, I'm, I'm not. These players are that good. They're able to switch um, you know, fire modes on an instant and, and think way faster than us mere mortals think because... They don't just play, you know, company heroes. They play fierce, competitive company heroes at the highest standard of play. And it's an entire, entirely different ball game. This is the elite showdown, not the... Potato average. showdown, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This isn't king of the potatoes, that's for certain. Sees it on the box. <laughs> oh, T-70 finally hit by one of the two Raketenwerfers. Second one's right there as well. This could be trouble. Oh, what a Faust! Was it? No, yeah, there was a Shrek. Oh, there was a uh, Oh, nice shot in that case. I suppose he did have line of sight, didn't he? From the photo screen here. I was just confused. It seemed like ultimately long range. Very, very good shooting for a change. Oh. Oh, bit of incendiary fire. I was to say, that was... I was I was sweating for DVM there because he cancelled his Zisbras after one shot. I was like, oh man, is he going to get his Zis bug right here? Uh, oh, that would be. Cancelling his Zisbras. Man, you're playing with the devil. Yeah. You can't be doing that in a Company of Heroes game. <laughs> you can't, no. It can go very badly wrong for you. Oh, look at this Rakettenwerfer as well. This is what I'm talking about. Jove and Nagano in their scrims throughout 2015-16 when the build up to ESL, they developed this style of play together where you go real far up into your opponent's face with the Rakettenwerfer in cloak mode. Um, and those two players in particular are very renowned for it. It would be ideal if he had the second Rakitin kind of behind this first one so this one doesn't get chased down on retreat and killed by T-70 for this move, but... Coming out now, back him up. You can't actually see anything though, there's a bit of tree in his way, so it wasn't great uh, espionage to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, that second one was in good position there. Oh, yeah. Jove happens to do this to your tightrope. He just really starts to eat up the, the map. He's very good at that. Oh, second, uh, Raketan exits cloak mode and is going deep into DevM's territory. He's now trying to get line of sight with the photo grenadiers. Has he got the shot? No, he hasn't. Man, I feel like on the back of these double MG34s, Joe's just maintaining so much map control. Devin really struggling here. Certainly is. And try to fight back with his own suppression in the form of this Maxim. Yeah, you say that with irony dripping in your voice. They're not known for their quick suppression. Especially against green cover targets. It can take forever. It probably never going to happen. Honestly. Oh, what a shot by the Rakanover for nearly takes out the Veteran C2 T70 from afar there. Joe's control looking very complete here. He's looking in good form. Certainly is. I just saw a mine on the retreat path there. Taking out a few more of those Strafniki. It's away. Joe has managed to sneak his uh, tier 4 tech up behind this. It's rather far back, isn't it? I suppose it just about covers the, uh, well, it doesn't only covers half of it this time. Interesting. Uh, I guess he just had, didn't have enough units up there, so he's worried about it getting pushed. So that's a pretty safe position to go up uncontested. He's not exactly risk averse, but he's got more of a medium profile as Jove. He doesn't play crazy. He doesn't play crazy aggressive, certainly. He just, uh, he's a very solid player. For, of course, a former major winner. He won, uh... The ESL EU Feb monthly final. Wow, that goes off the, you know, the tongue very easily. <laughs> Devium sending everything up here. Is he going to try to siege this tech structure out with his AT gun? It's looking like he might. Oh, he might be going for that. He's also got this EMG 34 in the north. That's got a very difficult retreat path now. That's going to fall into DevM's hands in no time. He's activating the incendiary rounds. Oh, but here we go. Jove's bringing on the Command Panther. That's what we'd usually see. <laughs> <laughs> Around this time. <laughs> You're in trouble. You're okay, W. You bring on the Command Panther. Satchel on the Raket and Verfa. Nothing got hurt whatsoever there. Also with a Zisk on Barrage. Doing some good work stopping this Vox Media bro down. I have to say, this, this assault this. from Devon is a bit of a failure, Tyro. Yeah. Didn't quite have the momentum there. It's hard to execute those kind of tier 4 sieges with a T gun. You kind of generally need two machine guns to make it really work. Mm, two machine guns and two AT guns. Yeah, that that's the ideal. Or, of you course, an SU-85. An SU-85, and then you're, you're golden, but uh, I completely agree. Mm. It's a little bit... And in that time, it has to be said, Tightrope, Jove has uh, captured all three victory points. He's now pushing up to solidify his control of the second fuel point, the eastern one at least. And, uh, yeah, he's looking strong. He's looking very strong at the moment. He's had dominating map control for the last five minutes. He's, <laughs> like, he's way ahead at this point but i guess devian may be going to try stall for the is2 here just got to hang on till that arrives oh, wow hanging on for call in meta it's a novel tactic if i've ever seen one i'm, I'm surprised we just haven't seen armored assault tactics uh, vetoed I, I consider it in the top three soviet commanders i don't know why um we haven't seen it vetoed so far this tournament with three vetoes available against Soviet players. Yeah, well, I think people would rather play Shock Rifle Frontline, right? Because then you got Shock Troops and the Ice too. Oh, so okay. I can understand. Maybe not enough scouting by Jove, because I know for a fact that this is one of Devem's favourite commanders, so... Mm. Might be like the fourth one on the veto list, you know? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> and I would swap them around for Devem, because as I say, he's played with this one a bunch in tournaments. Nice assault by Jove. I see he's making moves. He's coming through the center. He's pegging Devon back in the south. 
Good. PTRS Salvo goes there. Here comes the Volkswagen de Onslaught. Maxim rotating to deal with it. Kitten's also trying to position on the T70, but it's seesawing back and forth, avoiding any damage. You have a two failed assaults now. Uh, but Jove is the um, continuous presence on the battlefield. He's really controlling things. He's, now he's going for a brutal cutoff. That will remove um, the fuel, the munitions, and the standard territory point from DevM's clutches. And that NG in the middle was in headaches for Devium, really restricting his movement. We've hit Veteran C3 on the T70 just as the oh. Panther is nearing construction. And Jove going for the incendiary grenade into the retreat path of all those squads, hoping to get some wipes. Nice move. Very tasty. Ooh, Vet 4, Folks Grenadier is going to have to retreat very soon. There we go. He's leaving them out as bait for the Rakit and trying to get the kill on that T70. DevM's a little bit too wise for it. He knows he's on the back foot now. He's just using this hedgerow, which is a shot blocking hedgerow, to, um, you know, navigate around and just take little pot shots, keep the Rakit and Werfers guessing. And here's the big boy, the Panzerkampfwagen Thunf, the Panther. Yeah, skips right on past the Panzer IV, just knows that Devium's going to go for the Ice II cooling and the Panzer IV is not going to have the firepower to deal with it. There you go, it's already counted before he even gets there. The T-70 itself is um, a rival for the Panzer II, so Devham has no advantage there. Jove has two machine guns, Devham has one. Devham has one AT gun, Jove has two. In every facet, Jove seems to be leading this uh, battle. Yeah, still hasn't even sicked his commander. That's how far ahead he is. He hasn't needed any extra source. Well, it, Going at vanilla. exactly. It, it might be a, a sign of um, style, you know. He might be that confident in his strategy and in his prowess that he, he's not going to choose a, a commander as a, you know, a style point. Yeah, that would be very impressive. Seconds this coming in for Devium after seeing that Panther. So close to the Ice 2 now, though. He's getting increasingly oh, close. Oh, big shots in from the Panther. Zis. Yeah, that Panther having some pathing issues. I think pathing issues uh, implies the game at times, but in this case it was Jove you know, with his Raketten Verfus tight rightfully mentions in the wrong place at the wrong time. Jove looking to absolutely dominate the map even more tight rope, now going for the fuel second fuel point yet again. Dev Emma. Yeah, triple cap going. Devium down under two hundred now and it's ticking away quickly. Uh, it has to be said though, he'll have access to the IL2 Sturmvik attacks, the loiter. Oh, and I was right. Fortifications, yes, mine's going oh, up all over the map. Oh, there you go. Folks, Grenadiers were into action. They're going to be laying loads of in anti infantry mines very shortly. And an oh. Ali FH 18mm <laughs> artillery cannon. <laughs> I love a good howitzer in a 1v1. Oh, you sound like you do, tight up. I'm loving the passion. Yeah. <laughs> I went through a whole phase the last three weeks just playing howitzer commanders. Like. <laughs> I lost a lot of games, but it was it was good. Well, you're now going to see what a, a very, very, very good player does with one. And, uh, you know, DevM does have a good amount of support weapons. He's got a Maxim and two Ziskins. That makes itself a very juicy target for the LEFH. Oh, and here comes the big boy. Star Linium personified, crushing trees and soon-to-be fences and wheelbarrows. This thing... Is a 55 ton monster. Its first shot catches Folks Grenadiers with a pants down and kills two Soldaten. Oh, we've got a satchel in on the yeah. Lukes as well in the south. Oh, destroys the tank. That was a close knit affair. I'll tell you what, Devam has come back potential tightrope. Oh, he has to make it happen quickly because then those VPs are looking low. Just fire it comes. firing on the base sector tightrope, so he's going to be going for the law of averages in this game. He's just going to keep firing until he gets squad wipes on retreat. 
Yes, I think there's a little bit lazy, honestly. Like, he hasn't forced any retreats recently. It's not likely to hit much back there. Nice from the PTRS to damage the Panther in a few rear armor shots there, theoretically. Uh, IS-2 was heavily damaged, but we do... Well, it's only a Vet-1 conscript. That is a shame. Devem, of course, wants to save his munitions to get the IS... The IL-2s, rather. The Aleutian flying tanks. Yeah, he's gone for the double sweepers as well to try and get rid of these S mines. Very necessary. This game has a... Um... There's a good amount of potential for either player to win. I mean, we know Jove's certainly in the driving seat, but DevM is a very active passenger. Oh, good shot by the Raketenwerfer. Raket Foch Grenadiers can't keep their sight lines anymore, though. They've had to evacuate. Man, they got out of there at the last second, man. One more shot and that building's gone down. Going to be toast. He's destroyed the building for good measure. Just to stop Jove utilising it in the future. Panther watches on and surveys the battlefield. Nice incendiary round forces away the Vetsu Maxim. And this is just really interesting play from Jove. Like, that's a couple times now he's like baited with units trying to force Deviant to overextend. What a classic matchup we're watching, Tyro. This feels like a, you know, a true classic. Let's see what the. Uh, of course, it's just firing on the base. It's just destroyed a target, at least. We do have retreated units. One more shot here. What's the combat shield going to do? Yeah, I think it got the medics just Oh, in. the medics. Okay, fair enough. Not, not that high. We'll keep watching though, just just in case. Devam's not seeing the danger quite yet. He's too busy microing in the center. He has every right to as well. The IS-2 was in peril. Looks like it's going to be safe. Yeah, they've got some good shots in there. No, he's seen it now, Devam. He's evacuated. Panther is, um, is bossing the battlefield. Not onto Veteran C1 just by uh, doing a good amount of damage to the IS-2. Oof. Nice shots in there from the Zis. He's got the T-70 on the recon mode there, spotting long range, allowing those Zis to get the max range shots off. Yeah, and he toggles it off just to, you know, give the folks around here some problems. That's a good play by the Portuguese maestro. He's been... Yeah, he, he needs to mobilize all his reserves to push back onto the battlefield. Only 103 VPs remaining. He's been down, downgraded from the Portuguese prodigy to the Portuguese maestro until he gets back to winning ways. Um, tightrope. That is a, uh, you know... <laughs> oh, no. Not a title for life. Mistakes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Ziskun Barrage is taking out the Vet 3. MG34 from two angles. Will it survive? No, it won't. There you go. It's actually the penal battalions that got the killing... Um, shot. You gonna steal or is he gonna satchel it? Steal or satchel. Steal or satchel. The new uh, TV based oh, quiz show. Oh, how he clears out the Zis. Oh, wow. What a shot. It's now firing on this position over here. There we go. T70 watches on with furious vengeance and anger. Like Ezekiel 17. Oh, brilliant shot by the T70. Takes out the folks going here on retreat. God, this game's heating up tightrope. It's all over the bloody yeah, place. Yeah, starting to make a little bit of a comeback now. Oh, but look at what Joe's got in production. A Panzer IV and a squad of Overs. Oh. He, he had so much manpower floating, he, he could have got just about anything. He could. Nine kills on the LEFH. Doing damn well for itself. I, S2, has only gotten four kills, so a little bit lacking there. It keeps missing, which can be the problem, especially when it's on the move. It's been well contained by the Rakitten play of Jove. He's just had the Rakitten to the right place at the right time so far. And uh, Jove's superior play this game is starting to show now. 416 victory points to 103 for Dev M. Yeah, it's stalled at the moment. And that was a really nice wipe on that Fox Treaty in the south. LAFH firing on the center. It gets, oh god, penal battalions in jeopardy. This, they could be for it. Meanwhile, the S mines. Oh, oh. damage the Zis. What have you seen, tightrope? Yeah, that, that was it. His <laughs> Zis was running in there at just the wrong time. Oh, mine 
detonates on the retreating Stern Pioneers. The Panther pushes in and penetrates the IS-2 from behind. Kappa Pride. Uh, yeah, every time DVM pushes out, he's got to be on his toes, could run into S-Mines any time. It just takes you that extra step to push back onto the battlefield, and then those late-game VP scenarios, that can be all the difference. Certainly can, and the difference is being made right now by Jove, about to cap this middle victory point, and we'll now see DevM drop down below three-digit figures. Very steady gameplay from Jove. Trying to go any for desperation plays, just leaving the Howie do the work. <laughs> just let the Howie do the work. We've got the Maxim sitting on an S mine field there. Panzer IV taking advantage <laughs> of it. Oh, is about to repositioning? What's he going for? Oh, he's going for the Ziskun and the Maxim. That's wise from him. Devem pushes forward into battle. Detonates the S mine, so it's between a rock and a hard place. Oh! oh. Nearly kills the repairing combat engineers there. He got a whole squad of penals there, I'm pretty sure. Never. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. Look at all those corpses next hell? to the T70. Oh, Ziskun's also in peril. Oh, oh, oh no. My God. This. This how he's going off. It's going off. It's going mad dog. 23 kills and counting. Holy crap. Dev M's getting brutalized by artillery. Coming in here as one all over was, again. Was that fresh squad of penals? Because he's still got his three vetted squads. I didn't even notice that squad coming onto the battlefield. <laughs> Just as quickly as they're there, they're gone. <laughs> Blinking, you miss it. There you go. Oh, we're gonna have to check this out. This is the uh, IL-2 Sturmovic from Dev M. Oh, punishing the Sturm. Well, the Obersoldaten rather. IS-2's pushing in to take advantage. Oh, we're just in the nick of time for Dev M as well. He's recruited his Ziskun. IS-2's pushing in. Oh. Got the uh, Schwer Panzer headquarters oh, yeah. in flak nice mode. Work. Oh, here oh, comes the LAFH it. again, Tyro, your favourite unit of the battle. <laughs> oh, the big boys firing. Takes out the Zis. Oh. <laughs> Nearly destroys the weapon. Will it finish the job? It's almost got sentience with these shots. Oh, the Penal Battalion's going for it. Is that wise? One more shot, and he's an instant retreat. What's DevM thinking? There it is. Is it late? Oh, got out of there just about. Meanwhile, Vet3T70 with 19 kills. Oh, lives to tell the tale of that sordid affair. Man, this howitzer is looking like a stroke of genius here. Countering DevM's heavy support we can play. Yeah, and he's... Um we got three Zis guns that are constantly being harassed. IS-2's only got nine, well, ten kills. Tenth one just caught on camera against that old Soldaten. And uh, it's going to have to start getting more. Really needs to be the Ace and DevM's pack. Yeah, I mean, it's still not even Vip 1. He got that, like, ten command points ago. That's, you know, certainly hasn't been doing its job. And there's an example of that right now. Panther... Plinks harmlessly off the frontal armor, but the return fire just isn't there. We've got a Faust coming in from the side. Will the Panther be able to penetrate? Yes, it will. Is it going to push on now, though? No, it needs to decrew the Ziskun. He's given himself the opportunity, but he's just playing a little bit conservatively right now. And meanwhile, the LEFH goes off, taking out multiple crew members. E7 kills and rising. Hands of four coming in from the north, getting involved finally. But DVM just having so much trouble keeping these Zisk guns on the field and healthy. He's also only got Vetracy 1 on combat engineers, meaning that his I 
S2 is out of battle for way too long. He's now keeping it in the centre of the battlefield, which is a very dangerous prospect with, of course, the artillery. Increasingly, look at that reach load time. It's already ready to fire. Yeah. And, you know, Jove had the option. He could have gone for a walking Stuka. You know, he's got the mechanised truck down, but he, he chose to go for the howitzer. Big thanks to Ishtari in chat, donating $10 to the prize pool for this tournament. Thank you. All right, there we go. The LFH firing on the combat. He has dev knees to retreat. There you go. Fortune what was that? Look at how far out of the arc that shot landed. <laughs> what the hell? That's nowhere near where it's firing. <laughs> exactly. That's insanity. Oh. Rickett and Verf has been harassed. Yeah, he really wanted to clear the veterancy from that, but didn't quite manage it. Whilst all this has happening, been happening, of course, Dev M has um, dropped to 70 victory points now. But he's managing to keep hold of these ones for the time being. And you can see the manpower bleed. You know, he's got 350 fuel in the bank, but we're near enough manpower to actually get another tank. Oh, this could be trouble. Engine damage so far forwards. Oh! If that how he can spin around. Pintle Mount gonna tuck out the folks around here on retreat. Will the Panther pursue? Well, he, he better not do because there's two Ziskons waiting for him and an AT Satchel. Jove with the good plays there. But yeah, I mean, he's lost a few squads now, just slowly getting more away from the infantry department. He does indeed switch his howitzers, start firing over on the left oh, now. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, ho, ho, takes out an entire... Um, nearly all of that Maxim, it seems. Oh, this gun was decrewed, maybe. Could even be worse on the second shot. No, just very lucky for Dev M, it seems. Meanwhile, Penal Battalion's down to one man. Oh, the Panzer IV is going to take him out easily. Here comes the IL-2. Dev M trying to strike back. But look at that LEF-8 shot. Up to 42 what the hell? on that bad boy. That is a very bad boy. And uh, Oh, almost kissed the T-70. Oh, yeah. oh, man. This It's out for blood. It is. It's World War One all over again. Oh, we managed suicide! Devon! Conceding <laughs> Kamikaze thanks to the... The, uh... Panzer... Sphere Battalion Headquarters taking out the IL-2. Takes out all the repairing combat engineers. That was a disaster. Absolute disaster on Feynmanville approach for Dev M. The artillery cannons nearly going to take out the T-70 now. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, Pens 4 coming in from the other angle trying to clean up. Jove, going to play it cool. Not going to rush in here. Try to finish it out. Just going to backpedal. If he ran over a mine or something, he could be in a tough spot in front of those two Zis. Jove's now enveloping oh, the south. He's dominated the mid portion of this game with the Ali FH. 44 kills tightrope. And what we're all asking ourselves isn't, is Dev M going to come back in game two? It isn't what's going to happen in this tournament. Is Jove going to finally, you know, return to glory? Is, is this Ali FH going to hit 50 kills tightrope? It's what we all want to happen, surely. <laughs> yeah, is it going to hit Vip 5? That's what I was wondering. Very close to oh. it. Hopefully both come at the same time and we can all uh, have a communal orgasm over this artillery cannon. How about this game as well? Oh, a super competitive. Oh man, super tight game. Oh, plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admit though, Dev M was being way too like crazy repairing constantly in the middle of the battlefield. I know it was a skill plane, it was an RNG event, but it equally it could have been the LFH any one moment. Oh, meanwhile, Ali FH on the centre of the base here. Yeah, very safe, just barrage there if you don't know what to fire at. 
with actually four, of course, he's going to be having so many uh, reloads on this thing, it's going to be constantly firing, basically. And Divian draining out here. Gonna play for the Southern VP. A lot of tanks trading blows here, but... Nothing too critical. LFH oh, takes LFH now. takes out the Vet 3T70. There's a rotation for you. More punishment for Dev M. It's all the LA Yeah, this has got one vehicle crew. Uh, one destroy. Oh my god. Now 49 kills. Takes out so many crew members there. The combat engineers are trying to retreat. You can't retreat. You cannot escape from the LFH. Oh, and there you go! It's 51 kills and veterancy 5! We can all celebrate! Never escape for P4, but I mean, looks like Divian getting chased off the VPs here might not have enough units to push back onto them. This might be the killing blow. I think he died a long time ago. He's fighting a husk now and he's using an artillery cannon to like pulverize the dead, lifeless body of Dev M. Game one is surely over. What does Dev M have in the tank, Tightrope? Yeah, that's not too much, but Joe actually floating close to 900 manpower now. It really needs to spin that, get some troops on the VPs, close out the match. Or is he going to go for a King Tiger? Has he got... Yeah, he's got uh, all three tick structures. Yeah. <laughs> We've... He doesn't have the pop cap for it though, right? No, now. he's just reinforced his uh, Rakanova for ending tightrope streams. But I, th I mean, that's what it, it indicates, you know, him floating this amount and being that stage of tech. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he wants to just get the big boy on the field, the KT, finish out the match that way. This is crazy. I mean, this has got to be like a front runner for Coco Jambo Award, surely, as well. It's Stone Tiger Daffy's $50 extra prize fund. Yeah, this is how it's a... What a... What a decision from Jove. Oh my god. Pulling in the Zering artillery now. Oh, insult to injury artillery. Oh my lord. Double salvo with the LAFH almost ready to go as well. He could absolutely pulverize Devon into submission. Need sight for this to work, and he's bringing the overs in to give exactly that. But, uh, give him trying to avoid that circle because, especially towards the end of the zeroing artillery, those shells start flying quickly. 46 victory points and dropping. Devem's having to keep a penal battalion up north just to keep him in this game. Meanwhile, in the center, this Fortress Grenadier squad's neutralizing that victory point. The IS-2 big boy is going to try and do something about it, but the uh, Panther's nearly ready for, to go once more, thanks to the Automatron repairing engineers of the Mechanized Regiment headquarters. Yeah, we're again moving into position now as well. Five on that bad boy now. Oof! IS-2 needs repairs, and that's going to be out of mission for a long time maybe needs to use the crew repairs I don't think we've seen him use them much this game at all T3485 from Dev and we all know what he's going to try and do with that he wants to take out this Ali FH most likely but also he sees that he's got a hell of a lot of fuel in the bank and if he is going to survive in this game he's going to have to utilize it yeah how it's just going to be quite tough to kill in 1v1s especially if you don't have a big off map in your commander which well, I suppose he's got the Sturmvix, but that's not going to help you much against the Howitzer. The uh, Boeing run. No, it's not going to help at all. And uh, yeah, he's going to have to make a concerted effort to push there, but of course it's got the Flak Truck defending it. Well, where's this Salvo? Could be anywhere. At this range, the scatter is horrendous. It truly is, you know, just going crazy. And. Uh, not just throwing dice, but getting naked, rubbing yourself in jam, and then throwing dice. It's that, uh, it's all over the place. It turns. Oof. <laughs> Panther gets a rude welcome there. 
who's this and the eyes too forcing him off calling in the planes as well trying to get a push going trying to reverse these vps because they're ticking fast triple cap going at the moment 85 in the north as well fighting off the panzer 4 obers are there as well but i don't think he's going to be able to get these vps captured in time no it's he is not he's giving a brave effort to battle back and he's He's caught the bunker unaware, though. He wasn't able to get the MG down on the bunker, so at least he's able to neutralize the victory point there. And the T-34-85 is indeed going north. Panzer IV can't make his way out of there. We've got the IS-2 also navigating to that area of the battlefield. He's certainly reconvening to make a push. Five VPs. Oh, hits a mine with the IS-2. Oh, gets it captured, but two victory points remain. And DevM loses game one. Jove with the victory. It's time for the 1v1 Elite Show. It's time for the 1v1 Elite Showdown. So, wow, what a game there. That was, uh, that was awesome. Sure, your thoughts, Tyrem. Shall we get the stats up and have a little look at the stats? We see that DevM, uh, obviously, yeah. it was KD wasn't horrendous. But um, Jove just had the superior control. You can see that on points held. This is horrendous. 100 kills behind. Um, maybe, uh, maybe my brain isn't working. 90 kills behind. Um, <laughs> it's, well, it's actually, it's, it's, eight, you know, it's 87. And he is Soviet, so okay. it isn't, isn't horrendous. It's, it's bad, but it's not horrendous, Tyro. I need to retract your yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. There's all you. Basically, all of those kills were the howitzer. You know, there was a lot of like. Well, something. that's just it, isn't it? I mean, you can see that the Rakatenverf obviously was most valuable unit, just as you say. I mean, one kill, three deaths, MVP right there. Come near us, that's clearly working. No, but if we go to the units and we uh, scroll down, you can see the LFH had a heck ton of efficiency. 1,058 efficiency, which is great, but you can also see that Rakatenverfers were just fantastic also. 2, 1, 3, 4. So they are the two um, best units, it seems. Well, yeah, there we go, and um, it was a good game tightrope. We can obviously restart a couple of co now and go away for three or four minutes whilst we wait for Dev M Jove game two to start. I'm sure it's probably already starting, and they hadn't obviously. They have to do their commander bands again, but um, they know what factions they're on, they know what map they're on. So we'll be right back in a couple of minutes, dudes. Um, so do not go anywhere. See you in about three or four. Bye bye.